A breaking news, a not guilty verdict is in for a former South Carolina sheriff accused of abusing an inmate more than four years ago. Thanks for joining us tonight for your news at 10. I'm Alicia Barnes. A federal prosecutor's Charles uh, charged Charles Lemon, excuse me, after video surfaced of his deputy tasing a suspect multiple times in the county jail. Queen City News Chief Investigator Jody Barr joining us live from Florence, South Carolina. And Jody, this verdict came quickly tonight. Yeah, Alicia, very quickly. In fact, it took just 70 minutes for Charles Lemon's federal jury to announce to the judge that they had reached a unanimous verdict of not guilty for Charles Lemon. The suspended sheriff was at the defense table with his head buried when I walked into court this afternoon when the jury announced they had indeed uh, reached a, a unanimous verdict in this case. Lemon had to be thinking the worst since quick verdicts also often mean bad news for a defendant. I watched as a clerk read the verdict and announced not guilty. That's when Lemon's head popped up and he looked at his attorney with a look of, of utter disbelief. Now caught up with Charles Lemon when he walked out of the courthouse here tonight. That look on your face when you heard not guilty, I don't think it sunk in yet, did it? It has. What did you hear? I just heard not guilty, and I just want to say, first, I give God all the glory and all the honor. Amen. And I want to thank my family. I want to thank my friends. And I want to thank both of my attorneys. A lot of people saw that video, and that's all they've seen for the last couple of years. Are, are you proud of what happened that day? Could you have handled that differently? I'm not proud of what happened, but at the time, I'll tell you like I told the jury, um, Split second decisions, and uh, I tried to do the best I could, and I think that myself and Cook and the jail staff did a great job. We did good. You think Cook should have uh, taken his case before a jury? Well, I can't, I can't elaborate I on that. Here's Trevor Murphy, you know, those guys that did what they did, they felt like, they say they felt like they had to do. Uh, what would you say to them tonight? I have no comment on that, Jody, and I appreciate you asking. I think that's a good question to ask. So I will say this. I let the good Lord deal with them and uh, he'll take care of that for me. Do you think they were doing what they thought was the right thing or do you think something else was going on? I'll let the good Lord take care of them. Well, Jody, Lemon's former deputy, Andrew Cook, was the one who actually fired the taser in 2020 and he pleaded guilty. You just were talking there to the former sheriff. So what does this verdict mean for him? Well, Alicia, what it means for him is not much as far as the prosecution goes, because, again, uh, as you just said, Andrew Cook did take that guilty plea to this civil rights violation charge here back in late January. He is awaiting sentencing. You know, uh, Cook had a deal with prosecutors that if he provided substantial assistance in this case to testify against Charles Lemon, then instead of the 10 years that he faced in federal prison, he would face between probation and up to 10 years. But, you know, this verdict also makes you wonder if the jury wrestled with the fact that Charles Lemon never pulled the trigger on that taser here, and it was all Deputy Cook who delivered those six tasing shots to Jarrell Johnson. Now, I also wanted to know how the prosecution took this verdict. A huge loss. This was a major loss for the government, the FBI, and SLED agents who all spent the past two plus years and the last, what, five days uh, of court trying to convict Charles Lemon. When the dust settled here this afternoon, though, this evening, prosecutors SLED and the FBI slipped out the back door here at this federal courthouse and came nowhere near our cameras. Now, this all started for us in 2021 when we got this copy of this jailhouse video. Uh, it was actually a cell phone recording of the Bob the original body camera recording showing Deputy Andrew Cook tasing Jarrell Johnson on the order of Sheriff Lemon. Again, Cook delivered six total strikes from the taser that day. Now, body camera recording, if this recording was deleted from the Sheriff's Office evidence room at some point, but SLED got a copy when we got ours. The state indicted Lemon and Cook in December of 2021. The South Carolina Attorney General's Office later dropped the state charges of misconduct and felony assault against Lemon. And, in, and Cook and the South Carolina Attorney General's Office under the leadership of Alan Wilson gave the case to the feds to prosecute this federal civil rights case, a case that the U.S. Attorney's Office, SLED, and the FBI all lost here this, this evening. Investigator Jody Barr reporting live from Florence, South Carolina tonight. Jody, thank you so much for your coverage. And